What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is episode three in a series called Rework where I take your submitted design files and I rework them a little bit. The goal of the series is to offer some constructive feedback as well as give you some insights as to what I'm thinking while I'm thinking it. With any luck, we'll be able to make some small changes that improve the project without making too big of a departure off into La La Land. All right, we're gonna open up our file and that is an Envision Studio file that was submitted by Shushab Hardy. I'll put all of his information and link down in the description. And this looks like a, an admin dashboard of some kind. So let's just drag another version of this artboard out. So we have our version and then we'll be able to look back and see Shushab's version. Okay, uh, first thing I see when I look at this is I'm just thinking, there's too many boxes inside of boxes inside of boxes, right? So, um, and uh, I'm gonna clear a bunch of that stuff out so that I can look at the information that's on the page a little bit more clearly. So that's, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I feel like that looks a lot better already, just removing the amount of boxes and boxes and boxes. Um, okay, question. Not answer. Do we need these scroll bars? Uh, maybe, maybe not. So like, I'm just gonna make an ED, an executive decision, say, I don't think we need the scroll bars, man. Um, I think that you do need some clear separation. So we took all the boxes away, which again, I don't think it's a bad thing. We just, we had boxes inside of boxes, but maybe we need like, like something to denote one side from the other. So I'm actually gonna like, let's do this. I'm gonna denote this side from that side. Now I'll tell you, I'm not a big fan of what's going on here in, in some of these boxes. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just pop this right here for a second. I'm gonna call this uh, column right in my layers. I'm gonna lock it so I can work on top of it really, really easily. I just wanna delete all these for a second. And I wanna work on one of these input fields. Because one of the problems I, th I think you're having over here is everything just seems so cramped and, uh, and I just don't think it needs to be that cramped. And that can be fixed really easily just by stretching out this input field. And we can duplicate that row, okay? Um, now, I think there's probably something to be said uh, that we gave it some space, but you could probably, you, you may not need to have each of these in their own individual, individual? Individual table cell like that, that's exposed, three-dimensional, flying off the page. You might be able to just, I'm just gonna do an example of it really quickly if I can. Um, you might be able to just do something like this, and then all of the names, actually, why don't we do that? I feel like that would be better. Let's do that, okay? You see how like how hard it is here for the eye to really grok all of this information? That just it just seems difficult whereas over here if I could, there you go. Whereas over here, the information just seems a little bit simpler. That's just my opinion there. Okay, so let's grab all of them one more time, distribute them, I just added one more. Oh, just space out even more. Oh, the white space, I love the white space. Okay, you know, we could do something like this where we bring this all the way up. Oh, you know what, let's do that. Here's why it makes sense to me, because these controls are now contextual to the information that's found within the panel. They are not separate, whereas over here, they kind of feel a little bit separate in my opinion. So, um, okay, so I'm just gonna stop right there on, on these sections. I might just balance these out a little bit up there. But I feel like that's where I'm gonna stop on this right-hand column. Let's now, we're gonna do a little bit of work on these guys, okay? Let's, I hate this active state. I don't like that at all. And we only need one of them because we're gonna fix it and then we'll duplicate them. Um, we want this to be the same color as, to bring a little consistency, as the other one. So we have events and we have attendees there. Um, I'm gonna give a little bit more space this way. Just a little bit more space from the left edge, I think would do it right. And this logo's real big. I'm gonna bring it down 
and just give it similar spacing, okay? Now we want, of course, we want the logo and all that stuff to be lined up, um, but I think this is pretty, I think this is okay. You know what you could do? You have all this stuff up here. You could draw a rectangle, um, just like so, and use a very subtle like line, okay? So here's what I mean. I'm gonna drop this here. I'm gonna turn it white again, obviously, um, but I want a little bit of a shadow, an inner shadow, um, and I'll put that below just like that. Now, I think we should probably do a similar thing down here and for our left column. So now we have a similar separation from the top bar to the bottom, left bar to the right bar, okay? I uh, like that a lot. I think I'm gonna bring this over just a little bit, a little bit, you know, we have a lot of space in here and these cards we want to be centered, okay? Um, now, let's rethink these little cards right here. I think that's important. Cause I don't know if, are we gonna do like a card the way that the originals were? Does, do we like that? I don't know if we like that. So let's come back over here. You know what we're gonna do? Let's do a little bit more of a left-hand panel of like an email inbox where we're going to take this avatar, avatar like that, and let's go to the top and let's go to the kind of closer to the top here. And we'll pair those together. And I think we have some space here. We've got a lot of space to work with. So um, let's bring all this in like that. And the card is at the little button or whatever is at the very end. Okay, so with that being said, I think what I want to do is just create a rectangle that leads from the left hand edge to the right hand edge. We don't know why it popped up down there. That's a little weird. Um, but we want to make sure that it's all the way in the back and that all of our information is somewhat balanced inside of it. We want it to be white. And uh, we are going to do a similar inner shadow uh, on the negative one on the negative one, and then none of that, and we're gonna find uh, a transparency that matches a similar color. I probably should just pick like the actual hex code, but I'm not gonna do that. So, um, now we have our group. I should be able to turn it off and on. Uh, we'll call this our card, and we should be able to push this guy right up to where the other one is. So let's just nudge it down. And uh, that's looking a little bit better to me. I think I'm gonna stop right there. Oh, we need an active state, right? Let's do really quickly before we go. Let's just do an active state where we will just do a rectangle nice and big and bold. So we really know that this is the active state. I'm gonna pull our green color and maybe just chill it out a little bit. But that, to me, I like that. I mean, you could play with it more if you wanted and you could, you could try to get really crazy and do like, like maybe just a hue of the green, like that would be okay with me. If you were like, man, I need something a little bit more active. That for me is a little bit cleaner of an admin kind of dashboard thing. So we have the original over here. Let's just check it out. All right. And over here to the right hand side, we have the new and improved. I don't know if it, how much of an improvement it is. I don't know. Um, but I just cleanliness, tidiness, organization, especially for admin panels, it's so much about organization. So um, those are my thoughts. Let me know uh, what you would have done differently. Well, that's it. Another rework video in the bag. Thank you so much to Shoe Shop Hardy for submitting his work. If you'd like to submit your work, you can find a link down in the description to do all of that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and code and walkthroughs and reworks just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Hope you guys are having an amazing week. I hope you're designing amazing things. Hope you're making amazing things, and I hope you're tweaking and reworking your designs until you absolutely love them. I'll see you in the next one.